Good morning. I'm here to share with you a major effort at Tallgrass and Erickson Living of technology security and compliance remediation effort. Now don't go to sleep. <laughs> it is a rather boring topic, but it is a major remediation effort. And what I mean by remediation, we have security issues and compliance issues that we're trying to fix. Maybe you've heard of Sony, Target, Home Depot, Anthem recently, I believe JP Morgan Chase. They all had security breaches. So we are ramping up efforts to mitigate our risk because we have massive amounts of patient records, resident information, and we are stewards of their information. We were trying to mitigate risk because say you had a laptop that gets stolen out of your car, if it wasn't encrypted, we would have to disclose that to all of our residents, and everyone in all of our continuing cares. It's an embarrassing, very costly endeavor. And also we could be faced with millions of dollars in fines that affects our bottom line. So I'm here to share with you an update on what we're doing to mitigate those risks and how you and I will work together. My role as on-site manager, IT manager, is I have three areas that I'm working on in this, in, in this effort. One is patch management, two is encryption, and three is asset management. So patch management, you all use Windows, Adobe, Reader, or you all you probably use Outlook or PowerPoint. They all, every software you use has patches that are issued, if there's an issue. So if you uh, are using a, well, if there is a vulnerability that is found, that manufacturer, say Microsoft, will send a patch. Well, we have found that lots of our devices are not receiving their patches. We use a platform that manages the patch uh, installation. That means there are, say, 700 devices across the corporation. We have over 5,000 that are not receiving a their security updates. So we have huge amounts of holes in security on these devices. That opens us up to bad things. Um, so my effort is we are, we are gathering a list of those devices and finding those devices and doing testing on them. This last week we mitigated, uh, or we uh, we uh, fixed 200 devices as a subset of a larger amount of devices to test to see if our theory is going to work. And that will be a continued effort. That means I'm gonna be coming out to you and you may be using your desktop and I'll have to take it away for a little while, giving you another uh, des desktop or laptop to use while um, I have yours. The second piece of that is encryption. Every month there is a list of devices that show up on a report that, send, that is sent to IC to security and compliance and then to us. And I have to go out and find devices that are having issues with encryption. Thankfully that's not been very big. This week I have two uh, that's getting smaller and smaller as issues get fixed there. But once again I'll be coming out giving you a device for a little while while I fix the encryption. Third piece of that is asset management. If a device isn't logged in for 30 days, it drops off the network, you'll see a theme, it winds up on a list that goes to IT security, that goes to compliance, that goes to us, and we have to go out and find those devices. So I'll be coming out, giving you a desktop or computer, a desktop or laptop to use while I fix that uh, asset. And part of asset management is a software and hardware non-standard process. We use a list of software uh, that has been, uh, they all have business cases, they all have owners. Outlook is an easy one, we all use Outlook, but say there's something that you wanna use that's not part of our standard list, there's a process we go to through that. Why? Because of those patches I talked about earlier. If you install a software, <coughs> I install a software, and no one's watching it, and it doesn't get updated, and is a, uh, it becomes a vulnerability, we may end up with Sony. So this is coming from the very top of our company, it's just not IT. We don't want to be a Sony, we don't want to be in the news. Right now you could go out online and search thousands of emails. WikiLeaks has made 
thousands of emails available of Sony. And I'd rather not have my email searchable. So it's an increased effort to keep us secure, keep us from fines. And I want to work, I'll, I'll need to work with you to, to, uh, to find these devices. So that list of laptops or desktops that are not on the network, I'll come out to you, I'll ask you, help me find them, and we have 48 hours to find them. If we do not find them within 48 hours, we go through a process of a lost or stolen device, and it gets reported to local security, IT compliance, and IT security. That was a trick, compliance and IT security. And what will happen then is if we can't find the device in 48 hours, you and I get to do a lot of paperwork. You'll be questioned, trying to figure out what data was lost, when it was lost, how it was lost, and we have to decide, do we have to disclose, or are we under the threat of major fines? It's, it's a pretty big deal. So I appreciate uh, your efforts on this, but you and I are working together, and thank you for your time.